Go for a great rod and reel combo under 200 bucks. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a sweet bait casting combo from Luz. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. Sean here with Rugged Outdoors, bringing the best of the outdoors to you. Here on this channel, our goal is to get you outdoors with tips, tricks, how to's, and reviews for all things outdoors. On Tuesday, we focus on tackle. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And at any point during this video, check out the notes down below in the description for more information about what we've got going on. Right, so today, we're gonna be talking about this new rod and reel combination from Luz called the Mock Crush. Um, one of the best rod and reel combos I've picked up in a long time. It's got a lot of great features that we're gonna go over and talk about how it's gonna help you as a fisherman. One of the things you're gonna notice is its weight. This is a super lightweight, in my opinion, rod and reel combo for a medium heavy fast action rod. It uses American Tackle Airwave guides on it, which help to keep the line coming straight off of the reel and straight along the blank and helps a greater sensitivity and helps with casting distance. All right, so let's start with the reel. You'll notice this is one of Luz's super low profile reels. Great overall feel and form. You can grab it and hold on to it with your hand, even if you don't have big hands, which I don't. And it comes in a seven five to one ratio reel. It has a uh, 10 bearings system in it for extremely smooth performance. One of the things too that's really neat is it has two different types of brake systems you can use. The first one that you'll notice is this magnetic brake system on the external that you can manipulate to control it uh, much easier. It also has the ability for a centrifugal brake system on the inside, which again gives you even more control over how you want the brake system to work. To be honest, most of the time I leave the centrifugal brakes as they are out of the box and I change the mechanical one. In fact, it's a requirement of, of mine, of any reel I buy, I don't want to have to crack it open to adjust the brake. I want to be able to change the brake right on the outside and this loose reel does that. The other thing it does is it has an aluminum spool. It's a little bit smaller, it's a 32 millimeter spool, um, which gives you some different advantages than some reels. Um, this allows us to use light line on here if we want, but also still allows us to use 17 or 20 pound test if we're so inclined for bigger baits and bigger uh, opportunities. Another piece that you'll notice from this is the 95 millimeter handle with these really large wind grips. Now what's really slick about this is that these grips have a really a non-slip uh, type material that they use for those. So when you grab it, you're not going to slip off when you're trying to set the hook on a fish. Um, but it's a really big thing. So if you are using it for deep diving crankbait or you're using it, you want to be able just to crank really quickly, um, this reel is going to help you do that. All right, so there's the reel. And overall, again, it's just a great reel. It looks fantastic. It's in my favorite color, orange and black. So now we're going to take a look at the rod and the different components of it. You know, I mentioned already that it's a medium heavy, fast action rod, seven foot in length. Um, but some important pieces to it is, again, it does feature the winds. Uh, grips the rod and the first thing you're going to notice is this larger butt cap um, on the rod really nice again features the uh, winds grip uh, which is nice non-slip gives you something really to grab onto if you need to whiz that bait pretty at a good far distance moving up you'll notice that again they continue using the wind grip along the rod um, which is really nice and non-slip material the other thing that I think is really important about this particular rod is the reel seat that they use the reel seat is a two-piece reel seat. Having that reel seat exposed allows you to feel the bite when it happens much easier than you would if, the, if this uh, blank wasn't exposed there. Moving up, you get the Airwave technology from American Tackle. Again, I think I mentioned it earlier, but again, it allows that line to come off the rod, off the reel in a good, nice straight line and gives you greater casting distance. Um, overall, fishing with it got some really good action out of it. Um, felt the, everything in the water with it, which was nice. You know, for under 200 bucks, um, I think the MSRP is $199. I think I've seen it for a, a less than that um, out there. But if you're looking for a great rod and reel combo um, for under 200 bucks, take a look at the Lose Mock Crush and I think you'll be happy. So I hope this was useful for you and you can find a good rod and reel combo like this out there. If you like what you saw, hit that like button, subscribe if you're so inclined, and we'll look forward to seeing you on next Tuesday.